Hey everyone, here's how to make rotation transitions in Premiere Pro. You're going to need Sapphire as always and RSMB is optional. Thank you to my monthly Kofi supporters. I've just posted part one of my AMV edit breakdown, so make sure to check it out. So to begin, prepare your clip. And the first thing you want to do is add on warp transform to your first clip. Now you want to set a keyframe for the Z disk and the rotate. We are going to be replicating this scale out and rotation that looks like this. So once you have set the stopwatch to one and zero at the start, head to the end one frame back as always. Set the Z disk to 1.25 and the rotate to 8. Next we're going to graph this so move your playhead all the way to the start, open up the Z disk graph and pull this handle all the way to the right and ensure that the velocity is at 0 as always. Then open up rotate and do the same, pull it all the way to the right down until it hits zero just there perfect and also tweak up the keyframes on the right by pushing them up slightly like that just so we create a stronger peak and so it should look like this now we need to just set the reflection to reflect so wrap x and y both should be at reflect now we're going to move on to the second clip so add on warp transform again and keyframe the z disk and rotate at the beginning z disk 0.6 at the start and set the rotate to a negative value like negative 6 what we are doing is replicating this over here without the motion blur at the moment so it looks like this on our first clip the second keyframe for the rotate was 8 so the beginning keyframe for the rotate on the second clip should be a negative value so since i've gone for 8 i can go for negative 8 on my second clip however i've chosen negative 6 because of personal preference anyways head all the way to the end of your clip but one frame back as always reset the z disk reset the rotate and graph it towards the left so pull the handles to the left velocity should be at you know what 0 0.1 is completely fine so i'm just going to leave it at that same goes for the rotate as well pull it and let go just there tighten up the keyframes on the left if you would like to i'm just going to do that really quickly and it should now look like this if you want to flip it around let's say you want this clip to tilt to the left instead of the right and the same goes for this clip as well all you need to do is just change your second value for rotate to a negative value so instead of eight pick negative eight and the same applies to the second clip so my start keyframe is negative six so i'm going to do six instead so last keyframe for the first clip and the first keyframe for the second Second clip. Flip the values around and it's going to look like this. Now to add on motion blur you need the RSMB plugin. What you need to do first is nest your clip so I'm going to nest my first one. I think mine has crashed. Yep mine's crashed and for some reason it's messed up my workspace. I don't know why it did that so I'm just going to quickly reset it. If this happens to you and you cannot do anything I can't even move around then I do recommend uninstalling Premiere Pro and switching to After Effects but I can't do that at the moment. Okay so I'm back after restarting my PC. Apparently I cannot use the effects workspace anymore so if I just go back onto it it's broken it's not going to work so i'm going to have to use editing so once you do nest your individual clips we need to do next is add on rsmb to an adjustment layer on top head between the two clips and one frame back then keyframe it to one then head about five or six frames backwards and set it to 0.25 this is so the motion blur does not destroy the quality of your clips so it only adds blur during the transition repeat this for the second half so one at the beginning at about one two three four five six or seven or eight it doesn't really matter seven frames in my case and set it to 0.5 or 0.25 as an alternative you don't have to keyframe you can just leave it at a value so you can leave it at 0.25 for both adjustment layers if you would like to if you cannot nest your clips and you cannot add it onto an adjustment layer then add it directly onto the clip itself so for example these two i can just add them directly onto it and then change the setting to let's go 0.25 and it should work completely fine you can see these two are together and the motion blur is completely visible. Anyways, now I need to try and fix Premiere Pro because it's broken. Peace.